Well, greetings everybody. Super excited today. Uh, this is Mark, the incognito astronomer. Um, I received my scope uh, yesterday. Um, I made a video about finding what I thought was a really super deal. Um, it finally got here. Uh, we're going to do a little unboxing video uh, today. Um, it's I'm cursed, I think, because I received astronomy equipment. It's supposed to be cloudy for days, um, but I will get this thing out and uh, try to do some observing with it as soon as I can. But before I can do that, I need to open up the box. So this is an SV Boney um, 503. This is the 70 F6. Um, so that what that means is it's a 70 millimeter lens, um, F6 is fairly fast. Um, total focal length is going to be about 420 millimeters. So let's open this thing up. So the box weighs about five pounds, five and a half pounds. Um, and at least that's what my scale told me. Um, I'm gonna be kind of gentle with this. I don't wanna mess anything up. Just wanna cut this tape. It's very well packaged. Um, and it wasn't damaged in shipping, even though it took uh, a decent amount of time to get here uh, from California. But it is Christmas time, so I'm willing to kind of let a lot of that slide. All right, and double wall box. This is a really good quality box. This is double wall box, and it's double boxed, which is even more uh, impressive. Um, yeah, this is this is quite well packed. Um, scoot this out. Pick some of that there. Whoops. Hopefully, I just moved the uh, camera a little bit. So apologies. All right, let's open up this inner box. This looks like single wall cardboard. But yeah, I um, I do have some experience in packing and shipping. Um, this is a really excellent way to uh, to ship a double wall double box with the outer box being double wall is pretty impressive so i don't think if you order from them your uh, stuff's going to get damaged at all all right got some foam in here let's take a look and there she is um cutouts for the foam cut out here there's some space for additional things i just got the scope so i'm gonna pause this for a second, get the scope out of the box, and uh, show you what we got. Okay, well, I got the scope out of the box. Um, we're going to unpack it here from the plastic and, uh, and take a look at what we got. All right, so this thing is fairly hefty. Um, I think almost all the weight uh, is the scope. Uh, the scope was the only thing I received in the box. Um, and like I said, the box weighed about five and a half pounds. So this is probably about four. I'm gonna keep it lower so you can see everything. Um, according to uh, SV Boney, this thing collapsed just 318 millimeters. Um, I'm from the United States. We use inches uh, predominantly here. So I've got a tape measure. We're just gonna see how big this thing is. Um, it is, oh, from front to the rear, 12 and a half. Everything's collapsed down. So yeah, about 12, a little over a foot, uh, maybe 13 inches altogether from front to rear. Um, that's very, very small. Um, it's a 70 millimeter F6. So F6 is the focal length. That's pretty fast. Um, 70 millimeters is the width of the glass. I'm gonna show you the glass here. So we're gonna pop the end off of this. This is a very nice, cap. Uh, the dew shield retracts, um, which is really good. All right, so we, what we have here is we have uh, F6 ED glass, which means extra low dispersion. The glass they use here is uh, FPL 51, which is a very, um, it's a very commonly used uh, ED glass in telescope making. Um, it helps to focus light better so that you don't get um, different colors coming to focus at different points. Um, which can mess up imaging uh, when you take pictures. So it's got a uh, dual speed focused uh, focuser. Uh, SMC 
uh, it's multi-coated. Uh, if you look at the objective, it's got kind of a green tint to it. Uh, that's that multi-coating. Um, so the focuser is a rack and pinion. Um, based on everything that I've seen um, and heard about when I was doing some research on this, the rack and pinion is just fine. Um, oh yeah, it's, that feels really smooth. We're going to rack that out all the way. Uh, according to SV Boney, it's got 90 millimeters of back focus, and it does. There's a little gauge on there. If you can see that, so it goes off to 90. So we're going to rack that back in. Um, it's got a dual speed focuser. So what that means is on the back here, this focuser, you have this bigger knob and you have the smaller knob. Big knob is the rough focus. Small knob is fine focus, so this is a one-tenth gear reduction in here, so you can come to really, really fine focus. I mean, moving this does not move the focuser almost hardly at all, which is what you need. Uh, with something this fast, focusing, you need, to be, um, you need to be very accurate with your focusing. It comes with rings. It comes with a dovetail. Um, you know, a lot of times when you buy a scope, um, it doesn't come with certain things you might need it to have out of the box. Uh, rings and a dovetail on their own can be quite expensive. Um, you know, rings allow you to move the tube uh, around. You can take the tube out of the rings. Um, it's just a mounting, it's just a way of mounting things. Uh, but it gives you some a lot of flexibility with how you want to mount the scope. Um, it also comes with a two inch to one and a quarter adapter. We're gonna pop this out of here take a look oh yeah there we go so two inch to one and a quarter adapter um, it's very nicely machined um, baffling looks great inside um, everything is a compression ring which is great uh, compression rings are very useful because you don't want things rubbing into your equipment when you put it in there to keep everything nice and nice and uh, non marred uh, which is really kind of cool all right uh, so what else does this thing have? Uh, let's see, we got the dew shield already, uh, rings, dovetail, awesome, dual speed focuser, great, because you need that fine focus for astronomy stuff. Um, it comes with this protective cap, which is, I think that's a nice touch. Um, and the cap is machined, or not machined, the cap's got this nice velvet in here. To, I mean, it's, you can tell this is a pretty high quality product. Um, now. There's a couple things it does not have. Uh, it does not have a finder scope shoe. Um, I apologize for that. Uh, but I came prepared. Um, and I apologize for the uh, thing going off. Um, finder shoe here, this was about $10. Uh, eBay, Amazon, you can find it anywhere. And it would slot in right here. So there you go. Okay. Um, one other thing that's nice, the entire focuser with this knob here, the, you uh, loosen this up and the entire focuser rotates. So if you have your camera mounted, you don't have to move your camera at all. You just move the entire focuser assembly. Because um, the camera that I have, I'll probably use this feature a lot. The camera I have has a rectangular sensor and most cameras do. Most cameras do not have a square sensor. So what that means is depending on where the object is in the sky, it might not be framed very well on the photograph. Like if the object's oblong and it happens to be facing the short side of your picture, you're not getting as much of a, you're not getting as good of a view as you might want. So being able to rotate this lets you orient your rectangle to better match whatever it is you're taking a picture of, which is great. Um, this thing feels very solid. Um, trying to think uh, what else oh um, one thing that I have read with reviews a lot of people don't think the dovetails long enough um, because of balancing issues um, it is pretty short uh, but the scopes tiny uh, luckily though I do have another dovetail this is also from SV Boney um, and it's a lot longer I'm probably gonna change the dovetail out to this one um, and I'm gonna add the focuser finder shoe uh, so I can put uh, finders on it or whatever and since you can pick whatever side you can put one on this side or this side. You can even mount two if you really wanted to, um, which is also nice. Uh, so overall, I have to say that I'm very impressed with this product so far. Um, 
I have the astronomer's curse, so it's cloudy, uh, and it's looking to be cloudy for the next few days. But as soon as I can, I'm going to get this thing out in the field. We're going to take some pictures with it, and I'm going to show you what it can do um, for EAA. Um, and hopefully, those pictures come out really well. Um, I do not get a field flattener with this, and we're going to see how that works. Um, field flatteners are an additional expense. Um, SB Boney sells one for this, but I'm just going to try it the way it is and see what kind of results I can get before I spend more money. Because a field flattener costs almost as much as I paid for the scope. So we'll see, uh, we'll see if I'm going to need it or not. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Um, I appreciate your time. If you liked uh, what you saw and what you heard from me today, please subscribe. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, I've noticed the channel growing a lot. I'm almost at 100 subscribers now. Um, in fact, I might even be at 100 uh, by the time you watch this, which is, to me, that's amazing, uh, considering what I'm talking about here. Um, and, you know, I appreciate every one of you that tune in and watch. So, um, once again, clear skies. Uh, best of luck to anybody who's looking for a scope. Maybe this helped you out making the decision. Um, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and bye-bye.